Hi, this is Point Zero Energy. Um, I know that you're excited to learn more about our new Titan solar generator. Before I get into the specs on that though, I wanted to talk about why we created this system. Um, we've noticed the two biggest problems with uh, solar generators on the market is one, they're usually too small to run um, appliances and the things that you need in a real power outage. And two, if you get one that's big enough to run everything you need, it's not really portable anymore. And so with the Titan Solar Generator, we've developed a generator that is big enough to run um, anything you need. You can expand it to run you know, your entire house, or you can leave it small like this and it's still portable. You can take it wherever you need. All right, so let's get into the details of this. This is actually our second prototype of the Titan. Uh, we have made a few changes since the first one. First of all, we're going to talk about the battery. The battery with this prototype is now a 2000 watt hour uh, lithium battery that weighs 35 pounds. Now with this one, we have uh, handles on the sides to lift it with, but in the next version we're actually going to do a recessed handle, more like an ammo can handle. Um, on the side we have a handle so you can carry it kind of like a briefcase. <clears throat> Again on the next version we're going to do a recessed handle for this as well. Um, now on the bottom, one of the nice things about this version is we are we have uh, ports on the bottom so that there's now just one battery. There's not an expansion pack and a regular battery but every battery will have a cover on the bottom and if you remove that cover now it can become an expansion pack and stack on top of any other battery. There will also be indent indentation marks in the four corners to fit the bottom pads on the battery so that they just fit right in there and clamp on. And then once you have the battery, uh, as many packs as you want, the top one will be the generator box, which is the electronics and does everything. Now on here, if you've seen the other video, you'll notice we've kind of rearranged things on here. We've moved all the plugs down to the bottom and spaced them out. We did that so that you could have more access to them. So if you needed to plug bigger plugs in, you can plug them and they don't interfere with each other and you still have access to all the plugs. Also we have um, we have the 12 volt ports along the top here and uh, we just have inserts for charging um, USB chargers like cell phones or um, tablets or whatever you need to charge with a USB port. So those are easily removed and you can um, you can change them if you need to. We've got these two with two regular ports on each one. On this side we have a regular port and a USB-C port on each one of those to charge the newer phones. Um, now these these two ports here is what they are is they're a 24 volt port that can be used to run lights or, or whatever else you want to run off 24 volts. It's also directly connected to the battery so if you happen to drain the battery pack low enough to where the battery management system shuts it off, you can charge it up by plugging this in and then connecting your solar panels and it'll get your battery going again. And then of course there's also the RV plug, the 30 amp RV plug there on the side. Um, all spaced out and designed to where you can plug everything in and not cover anything else up. Now if we look at the, the other side, this is where all the input ports are. So the first one here is for 110 volt where you just plug into that and then you can plug into any 110 volt outlet. This is programmed to charge at 750 watts. If you add more batteries, you can program it to go up to 1500 watts of charging so you can quickly charge your batteries with AC um, in about two and a half hours. Now, for solar, it comes with a 25 foot extension wire that will plug into these solar ports. And then on the end of these, they have the uh, MC4 connectors that plug into your solar panels. 
Uh, this is programmed to have a maximum of a thousand watts. Now if you add a second or third battery, this can go up to 2000 watts. So uh, if you've ever looked at any solar generators, you'll know that that's actually very high. Most are about 300 watts. So 2000 watts is, is a lot compared to most systems. Um, now this next spot here, this is just the breakers and the fuses. Essentially, if you overload the ports, it'll trip these uh, breakers. And if you overload um, the light plug or whatever, it'll trip these fuses. And also this port, which is used to charge from a car. So essentially, all you got to do is plug in a 12 volt port and then plug that into your car and you'll charge it about 150 watts. Um, and then the last port over here, this is for adding an expansion battery. Uh, basically, you can add any type of battery, AGM, flooded lead acid. Um, it has to be 24 volts, so you'd need two of them, two 12 volt batteries in series. Plug into there, and then you just program this for that type of battery, and it will now work with the lithium battery to run your generator. All right, now for the other side. There's not much over here right now. Um, but underneath this cover is where you access the ports to add to parallel another system. So say you wanted more power, you could buy a whole complete system, set it next to here, connect the two wires, and now it would actually synchronize the two systems and you could uh, run twice as much watts out of this. So you could, or you could program it to be 240 volt split phase and wire into your home. Um, there's also underneath this cover, there's a switch that you can flip off and it'll basically turn the entire inverter off. So if you're just running DC, you can save your batteries a little bit by doing that. Most people will never worry about accessing that, but it is an option there for people that want to save on their power. So by doing this, by having it, uh, the option of paralleling two systems or more, it can go up to nine whole systems. And by adding more and more batteries, you can, you can actually make a system that can run uh, you know, just about as much as you want. And so with this system, you can have it run your whole house, but then if you need to take it, say, go camping or whatever, you don't have to take the entire system. Just disconnect one of these with one battery. You can take it and go very easily. All right, that's it for the specs on this prototype. Um, be sure to sign up for our newsletter and we'll update you with when our pre-sale is going to start and more details of the final product. Thanks for watching.